The climb up Mount Oread is a long one. It calls for hard work and a hearty spirit. Along the way, you gather reinforcements, solve problems, and occasionally stop to take in the views. The climb up the hill may be difficult, but we can all agree there's nothing sweeter than the trip down it. On June 11, 1873, four people received their diplomas at KU's inaugural commencement. That's right, four. The ceremony included Flora Richardson, the university's first female graduate. Classes and campus continued to grow. By 1924, commencement needed a bigger venue. The consensus landed on Memorial Stadium. Beginning at the newly renovated Strong Hall, the class of 24 marched in a line past Potter Lake and into the stadium for their commencement ceremony. The procession was striking and cinematic, a visual metaphor that perfectly captured commencement's instant nostalgia. The walk was here to stay. The tradition diverted just once more, 26 years later, when the graduating class of 1950 commemorated the brand new Memorial Campanile by walking through it on their way to the stadium. That iconic limestone bell tower would remain a permanent throughway for the procession. Today, the Campanile's place in commencement lore is so hallowed that superstitious students completely avoid walking through it until the ceremony, fearing that if they do, they'll be cursed to not graduate. A little extreme? Maybe. But who are we to say what is or isn't cursed? Every year, thousands of students proudly travel the commencement route. Go, baby! With the boulevard behind them and a corridor of friends, family, and faculty cheering them on, Jayhawks marched down the hill knowing the climb was worth it. <laughs> 